Hello, how are you? Welcome to my channel. My name is Ruth and today I'm doing the update to Musical Panning Project Pan. Uh, this was created by Mary who is Patriot Makeup um, but I don't think she's posting anymore which is a pity because I really really liked her and really enjoyed this project as well. Um, so yeah, it's a pity to see her go, but maybe she'll come back, who knows. Um, it's rolling style with monthly updates and it started in January 2022. <clears throat> Excuse me, and will end January 2023. So what she's done is uh, for each decade from the 40s up to now, she has picked three songs and made prompts to match them and then you match products to the prompts. That's basically it and then once you've all her prompts gone through she did say you could bring in your own I did bring in some of mine um, I don't know if I'll be able to bring in more of mine before the year is out because I think I'm going to be like Alex from Alejandra Lissette in that I'll try and do a lot of my finales in November and have December then for kind of end of year videos inventory inventory videos uh, and just playing around with whatever I want to play around with and getting set up for the new year of project planning um, so I think that's going to be my goal but anyway on with this project so for the 1940s um, what was my last item in the 1940s oh I don't want to set the world on fire by the ink spots and it was a fiery item and I brought in this dose of colors uh, lipstick which I have on at the moment and it is in the shade kiss of fire so it matches brilliantly uh, my goal on this is to use it five times I've only used it twice second time today I knew that was going to be the case because it's a very bright and in your face lipstick and there's only certain looks I feel like it goes with etc so probably be until the end uh, next up is the 1950s and what I had in was um, blue suede shoes by Elvis uh, Presley and it was a blue item so I had the ABH Riviera palette now ABH are no longer a brand that I support but I have their products and I will use them but I won't be buying anything new from them uh, my goal with this was no pan left behind and I have met that goal and really enjoyed this palette I have to say it's it's a fun palette especially for the summertime um you know there's fun pops of color in here um and you can just accent a look or make a really bright look etc you know I do enjoy it um and I know it wasn't one of their big hitters as far as palettes go but I enjoyed it um, but I've met my goal in this now so this one will be rolling out so coming in then is uh, the last song in the 1950s which is just no no actually I brought I lied I'm a liar who lies and my pants is on fire I am bringing in something for the 1950s even though I've met all her goals I'm bringing in um in the still of the night if you've watched Dirty Dancing at all, you know the song. It's just such a beautiful song. It's by the Five Satins. And um, what I'm doing is, it, for me, it is from Dirty Dancing. Dirty Dancing has baby in it. So I'm bringing in a mini. I got there, guys. I forgot that I had decided I was bringing in a couple. Lads, I'm telling you, I've had migraines again for the last three days. So my head is like mush, mush. So bear with me. Uh, I am bringing in the Lancome. Lancome. Mm. Defensile mascara. Oh God, French peeps, I'm so sorry. I butcher your language every time I attempt it. Um, it is a mini mascara, essentially, and my goal is just to finish it. Won't take me long. It's a nice little wand on it. I am very much a person who uh, rotates through my mascaras every three months. I don't keep them for longer than that because I have very sensitive eyes. And typically I use two at a time. One that's kind of like a natural bristle and one that is a more uh, plastic because I find it comes through the lashes. And that plastic one I typically like to be a waterproof one as well. Just the way I like to do it. Um, so this is coming in to finish. Wow, I completely forgot that I was doing that. <laughs> She's just on fire. Next up is the 1960s, and that is Bad Moon Rising uh, by Credence Clearwater, or CCR as people call them, and it is a nighttime product. And I chose the Vichy uh, Mineral 89 Serum, and my goal is to finish it. Sorry, I'm not even showing things properly. Bear with me, guys. Um, so this is where I came in at, and I hope you can see we're all the way down to here now. So this will be done by next update, I would imagine. Although this is one of those annoying ones as well, that this straw on it does not go the whole way to the base. Why? 
it vexes me. The only one or two that I have are like the Cosrx one goes the whole way to the end. And I love that and I appreciate it. It's the little things, guys. It's the little things. I have used that to date. How many times have I used that? Oh, it's County Rep Root time. Oh, exciting. Uh, so eight, 10, 20, 28 times I have used it so far. I had use on it, obviously, when I bought it. Um, next up is uh, Lean On Me by Bill Withers. Um, and it's an item a friend gave you. And my lovely Deb gave me this beautiful palette from Glam Night. It was my first palette from them. And it's just been such, such fun. Um, and I was doing this as no pan left behind. And I have met that goal. Oh. Look at it there. Isn't it just beautiful? Um, the shimmers in particular for me with Glam Night. They're just divine. I'm just going to swatch just one or two, three. <laughs> one or two or three. Um, they're so intense and so impactful. I just I have to say they're shimmers. Like, don't get me wrong, the mattes are nice too. I have other matte formulas that are similar, but I have nothing really like it in the shimmer formula. Just stunning. So, coming in then is, uh, this is the 1970s, did I say that? Maybe, maybe not. 1970s and it's Wild World by Cat Stevens. I am a massive Cat Stevens fan, have been since I was only a young one. I think Moonlight Shadow I think was one of the first songs that I kind of really went, oh I like music. I was, I was only like, I'd say four or five maybe. Because my sister was a big Cat Stevens fan and um, she'd always be playing it and that song was my first kind of, I love this song, <laughs> and just went from there. Um, but yeah, I've always loved him and Wild World is a great song. I'm like, it's singing in my head now at the moment. Um, an item that makes you step out of your comfort zone. So what I've chosen, you probably saw because I've been waving it around. I am bringing in the Be Perfect Cosmetics Carnival The Antidote Palette by Stacey Marie. I have to because I put this in... Um, uh, my, um, video about palettes that I want to use in autumn and winter. But the problem is, if I don't have a palette in a project, I won't allow myself to use it, which is ridiculous, I know, but it's just the way my brain works. Um, so this is coming in, and by Jesus, she's a hefty one, she's going to be in now till the end for sure, because I'm going to do her no pan left behind. And the reason I say take me out of my comfort zone is because a lot of these, um, more red leaning tones I'm not very um, comfortable with so I, re I really need to kind of get my bearing on them and, and kind of delve into them and see what looks but look at the feckin greens guys oh this palette it's just speaks to my autumn loving soul and then some so this is going to be some feast trying to do this no pan left behind but look I'll be happy to get as much use as I can before the finale. Um, so yeah, that one's coming in. Yay! I only mentioned on one of Hayley's videos, or maybe she mentioned on mine, I can't remember, about the antidote palette. She's like, are you enjoying it? I'm like, I haven't allowed myself to use it yet. Now I'm allowing myself. I'm so fucking excited. Uh, next up is the 1980s. And it is uh, Pride and Joy by Stevie Ray Vaughan. A product you're proud of. And... I opted for the joy part of that instead of the pride. And the thing that brings me joy are the Buxom full on plumping lip creams in rose juleps, specifically the shade is divine. I just love it. Um, my goal is to use it 10 times. I have used it four times and I'm actually making some headway on it. I'm down to here, just above the B. Um, on it. I'm thrilled with that, but I love this. I just, over just a lip liner and this on top and it just, I adore it. I adore it. But uh, four times. And to date, so that will be staying in. Uh, oh, hold please. Your call is important to me. I forgot to pick this up before I started filming. Next up is the 1990s and the one I had in was Friday, I'm in Love by The Cure. Great song, love that song. Again, my other sister. Um, so, okay, there is six years between me and my next sibling, my sister. And, but then there's like, I think there's 14 years between myself and my elder sister. So my elder sister would be Stevie Nicks, um, 
Cat Stevens, that kind of music, um, James Taylor, you know, all that kind of stuff. Um, and one of my brothers as well, like, because I remember him having Tea for the Tinner Man, the album. And that's another place where I found a lot of my Cat Stevens stuff from. Anyhow, um, but Noreen then, the next elder, she was a massive Cure head. So she was into the Cure, she was into the Strength, or she was into all those kind of bands that I can't even think of now. Pink Floyd, you know what I mean, all those kind of bands. Um, and it's just an item of a love-hate relationship. <laughs> and if you can, you know, think about it, I was probably about six or seven and I was going through my black phase. You know, so it was all very depressing music and very, you know, <laughs> so that's why I have a love-hate relationship with it because I was a bit young to be going through that, but we shared a room, so I had no choice in the matter. But now I have a real love for the music. So anywho, um, I chose um, the Liqueur Multipeptide Moisturiser and um, my love-hate with this is I love the packaging. Packaging is class. Love the packaging. Absolutely love it. Uh, product isn't great. Not a big fan of it. But it's all done. I used it 19 times to finish it up. Um, so I'll redo, like I opened it up and got everything out. I will try and repurpose this packaging because it's such a it's such a useful package. Um, you can see they were trying to dupe um, Junk Elephant. So they were. So coming in is Something in the Way by Nirvana. Mm, I love that song. Tangent of us again. Um, we were watching the new Batman with Robin, Robert Pattinson. I'm not his biggest fan. It is what it is. Um, but, you know, we threw it on anyway to watch it. And this song came on fairly early on in the movie. He's on his bike and he's all moody driving through town. And it's kind of, it's a really, I don't know, I feel like it's a slower version even of something in the way. And um, I said, I hope you talked to the one. Okay, we'll give this a go. We, we'll give it, you know, they've, they've caught us with the song because it's not a very common Nirvana song, if you know what I mean. Um, so it kind of, that song drew us into the movie and we ended up enjoying it. Um, but anyway, item that's a burden. So I'm bringing in um, the Stila uh, Shimmer and Glow in Vivid Smoky Quartz. And I'm bringing this in because I just... I, I'm not a one and done person. I can't just put on a cream eyeshadow and be done with it. It's just not who I am. I love to play. I love to, um, you know, play basically with eyeshadow. I, I won't bother putting it on if I'm not going to have a play. Do you know what I mean? If I'm just putting on one and throwing it on and get out the door, it's just not for me. Anywho, um, but I have some in my collection and I need to get some use on them. Simple as that. So this is coming in for 10 uses. I know it's a small goal, but again, that's going to be a challenge for me. And that, you know, that's going to be a challenge. I'll probably have to use it as a base for some looks or something like that. Because it's quite a dark shade as well. Um, so we shall see. Ooh, a little bit of thunder. Thunder, hear the thunder. Uh, Crazy by Niles Barkley is the one for the 2000s and it is an item that drives you crazy and this product does because I don't like it and it was expensive and that drives me crazy and um, this is the uh, chemistry brand which was an offshoot of Decium somewhere in there one of their umbrella things um, extreme hydration concentrate like a protective hydration glove for hands Ugh, it's rotten it's, it's just like pure silicon I could probably use it as a primer um, I have used this 16 times. I hope you can see there isn't much left in it. So this will be done by next update. Um, and I'll be so happy to see the back of it. And I will not repurchase 20 euros for that. Not worth it at all. At all. <laughs> uh, next up is the 2010s. And I had an Irish song in. It was the Corona's Give Me a Minute. And it was a product you love in your routine. And a product that I like in my routine is my, my brows because I need my brows on. I just do. And I had in the Juvia's Place eyebrow pencil. Um, I sculpt, I shade brow pencil they're called. And I have finished it. There's a teeny tiny bit left but there isn't even enough to do half a brow. Don't mind a full brow. Um, I don't know if you can see the teeny tiny little bit that's left. It's a good colour in me. I liked it. Um, and I got 95 uses out of this, which is, I'm gobsmacked at because Danny, I'd say, didn't get a third of those uses out of hers. But then again, Danny's lovely thick brows, so she would have needed more to go through, whereas I have no brows and, you know, I have to draw them on. So that is rolling out and coming in its place is Heathens by 21 Pilots. All my friends are heathens, don't you know?
give it a, I love 21 Pilots. They're one of the few current bands for me that are actually, you know, on par with some of my favourites, if that makes sense. Like, I loved their one um, recently, um, The Outside. Loved it. Loved it. I just, there's something different. And, like, even in that song, The Outside, like, you could hear... If you're into music, you'll know what I'm talking about. But, like, the Red Hot Chili Peppers, you can hear Flea's kind of... Um, California kind of guitar sound that he does and um, you could hear that in 21 Pilots the outside I just the influence was there I just loved it anywho item that makes you feel dangerous and I am bringing in the Catrice Brow Definer um, brush pen this is dangerous because my eyebrows could turn out shockingly shite and I can't afford that I can't afford my eyebrows to be looking shockingly shite they need to be looking some bit decent but we're going to go for it. I'm bringing this in and I have 10 uses or finish, whichever comes first, because I feel like it might be drying out a little bit. So I don't even know if I'll get to 10 uses. We shall wait and see. Ooh, wish me luck. I had it in my um, Panner's pan. Um, for chastity. I haven't seen chastity post in ages. I miss chastity. I didn't like her. Uh, or charity. I said, oh God. Ruth, move on. 2020s. Um, I have in Pac-Man by the Gorillas, and it is an item you can't get enough of. And that is my Cosarex Snail Mucin Serum. I don't have it with me. It's inside my bedroom next to my bed. I forgot to bring it in. But it's okay. You'll take my word for it. I have used that 23 times since the last update and it's probably only gone down about that much because you just, even with three pumps that I put on myself, it just, it lasts ages. I adore it. It is just, I can't get enough of it. I love it. Um, so that is staying in. Lads, I'm sorry. I know this was all over the place. I know that. But I also know that ye are very kind and forgiving souls. And you'll let it slide, won't you? You will, won't you? because oh my god I had to get this done because I said if I don't get it done today I don't know what way I'll be tomorrow and that's just the way it is lately so we just have to make the most of the moments that are good um I hope you're all doing well out there I hope you're enjoying the weather cooling down wherever you are I hope it is cooling down for you it is slightly cooling down here but not as much as I would like um but hopefully soon. There's talks of a, a, a late kind of Indian summer heat wave coming in next week. I'm not impressed with that. I didn't request any Indian summers, thank you very much. And to me, an Indian summer is in September, not in October. You've no business being here in October. <laughs> Anywho, um, yeah, hope you enjoyed this video, guys, and hopefully I'll chat to you in the next one, <laughs> if you put up with this. And I'll talk to you soon. God bless. Bye. Sloan. Not even my usual sign-off.